Welcome back to the channel. Uh, right before I start, I would just like to say that the majority of my views are from viewers that are new to the channel, uh, not previously subscribed viewers. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please make sure to do so. I would appreciate it greatly and it will help me out a lot. So without any further ado, let's get right into the video. The doctors told the amputee he might experience a phantom limb from time to time. Nobody prepared him for the moments though, when he felt cold fingers brushing against his phantom hand. Don't be scared of the monsters, just look for them. Look to your left, to your right, under your bed, beneath your dresser, in your closet, but never look up. She hates being seen. They celebrate the first successful cryogenic freezing. He had no way of letting them know he was still conscious. She asked why I was breathing so heavily. I wasn't. My daughter won't stop crying and screaming in the middle of the night. I visit her grave and ask her to stop, but it doesn't help. The funeral attendees never came out of the catacombs. Something locked the crypt door from the inside. My wife woke me up last night to tell me there was an intruder in our house. She was murdered by an intruder two years ago. I was having a pleasant dream when what sounded like hammering woke me. After that, I could barely hear the muffled sound of dirt covering the coffin over my own screams. After working a hard day, I came home to see my girlfriend cradling our child. I didn't know which was more frightening, seeing my dead girlfriend and stillborn child or knowing that someone broke into my apartment to place them there. The last man on earth sat alone in a room. There was a knock at the door. You hear your mom calling you into the kitchen. As you are heading down the stairs, you hear a whisper from the closet saying, Don't go down there honey, I heard it too. She went upstairs to check on her sleeping toddler. The window was open and the bed was empty. The longer I wore it, the more it grew on me. She had such pretty skin. Being the first to respond to a fatal car accident is always the most traumatic thing I see as a police officer. But today, when the crushed body of the little dead child boy strapped it in his car seat, opened his eyes and giggled at me when I tried to peel him out of the wreckage, I immediately knew that would be my last day on the force. I can't sleep, she whispered, crawling into bed with me. I woke up cold, clutching the dress she was buried in. My mother has been screaming at the front door for hours now. She's not happy that I killed her with my bare hands. I have a friend named Charlie. I'm playing at his house, but it's cold down here in the basement. I wonder when Charlie will let me go home. If you get scared at night, don't keep your eyes closed for too long. There's a reason you're scared, and now you can't see it approach. My girlfriend is scared of horror movies. They make her paranoid, which can be tricky, when I'm watching her through her living room window. It's nice that my grandmother calls to check on me, but if she wants to communicate from the other side, I wish she wouldn't scream so much. My mom told me she had the best time playing with my little sister today. My sister went missing in 2002. They found her body in 2006. I saw the children playing, watching how high they swung. Their bodies swaying side to side, while silently they hung. Muscles now relaxed and still in her bed, young Timmy and Zach leaving all left unsaid. A smile, Zach cracked. And, no, Timmy plead, no need to cut further, mom's already dead.